Vision Titan. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Take for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's in the sequence. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 195 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, presenting the challenger, Super. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Beautiful punch. 
certainly getting after it early. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Straight right hand, no good. Just out of range with the big right hand. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. See what he can do here in the clinch? Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, tag him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Big power shot there. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been... How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. He went high on that one. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. What a right hand by this young man. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it, though. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that's a nice strike. Good combination. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back. Whoa, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, straight right. advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Stand tight, stand tight. He loaded up there on that high kick. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Caught that kick there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice kick. 20 seconds to go in round one. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Good punch, man. Right on the button. Oh, All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. Ready? 
round two here. Not there. Choi shot is blocked. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. something defensively, a lot of these knees are landing to the bottom. I mean, and it's going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and it's just driving knees into your body. from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Hu Ho So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number